welcome everybody to this week's uh, Health Aging Women vlog and today I'm talking to somebody a bit different and when I say different it's good different. <laughs> uh, today I am talking to Heather McCree. Now Heather is one of Lumia's clients but Heather is also a ladies golf professional and has been playing golf for like nearly 30 years she was telling me she doesn't even look 30 which you see her so she's a certainly a good advert for the sport. Um, so Heather, and I wrote this down because it's a bit of a tongue twister. She's a ladies European tour player. And certainly if you follow Heather on social media, as I do, you will see last year, she goes all over the world and it all looks dead glamorous. <laughs> and it looks brilliant. But the reason I wanted to talk to Heather on this particular podcast was just really because obviously we're talking a lot about healthy aging and we're kind of looking at the overall you know, it's not just about how you look and how, you know, um, your skin and your hair and your nails and stuff. I kind of wanted this these vlogs to be about kind of healthier living as you come into middle age. And not that Heather's middle aged, but, <laughs> but I think um, golf is one of these things that I know myself, I've never, I've never played golf. It's always kind of fascinated me a wee bit. And I think what I have noticed, and I think Heather and I were chatting before we came on about since the pandemic, I think a lot of people have taken life a bit slower. And I think golf is one of these things. We've seen an increase in, in particular ladies playing golf. And I don't know whether a lot of it to do, Heather, you could maybe um, agree or disagree with this, whether it's um, that particularly in, in, in middle age, like I look at myself when I was younger and had kids and stuff, I would never have had time to play golf. In my mind, it was always one of these things that took like three hours. So I would never even attempt to kind of get involved. Whereas now, I think having a bit more time and, you know, I know I've got some friends that have taken it up. Do you think that's part of the reason why kind of people, women, particularly as they come through middle age, are maybe starting to take on something new like golf? Yeah, I mean, I think, first of all, I think I am kind of getting into that middle age bracket as much as I don't really want to admit it. <laughs> um, but yeah, I think when the pandemic hit and everyone had all that spare time, um, finding something to do was difficult and golf was one of the few things that we actually could go out and, and do and people had just been out walking um, and golf was something that they could maybe take up and learn and, and try something else and I think since then they, they have just kind of tried to to make the time for it. I think um, women are probably much more family orientated at, at that time if they've got kids and, and working as well they, they maybe don't have the time but I think in a good way they're starting to make time for themselves whether it's an hour to go and practice or two three hours to get out in the course um and I think a lot, sorry no I was just gonna say I think a lot of courses and clubs are um starting to see that and making it a bit more accessible and realizing that we maybe don't have three or four hours a day to go and play but finding options that maybe only take 90 minutes two hours that we can still go and and do some golf activities and, and I think as well you know when we read about our mental health and obviously getting out in the fresh air is a huge thing and you know getting out on a golf course surrounded by all that greenery I think even if you're rubbish at golf you must get such a benefit of just being in those lovely in that lovely space. Yeah I think actually it's really funny because this I mean nobody really likes January um, but I've been out golfing pretty much every day this year and it's been although it's been cold it's um it's been nice it's been blue sky I've been out with different friends most days playing and I mean obviously for me it's work but it's it's nice just to get out and and be in the fresh air get exercise do something different and just if you're going and playing different courses you get a change of scenery and just kind of look around and appreciate it all a bit more absolutely so see like one of the things that's always kind of put me off I think in a way is I feel as if like my son started playing golf when he was really, really young. And, you know, he's like kind of 22 now. And he's just, he's got those skills now, which are brilliant. I feel as if, like, if, if I was to start, would it not take me years, Heather, to even be able to be halfway decent? No, I mean, I, I think the first thing to remember golf, it, it is difficult, but it's never, you never master it. It's always... I mean, I've been playing for almost 30 years, you said, and it, there's always things to work on. So it is never ending. But I think it, it is one of these nice sports that you can pick up when you're 40, 50, 60, even older. I mean, last the saying that the lockdown, a lot of ladies were just getting into it and it was just something new and something different. And I think when you can pick up something and it's because it's individual, you're not, I mean, you can compete against others if you want, but you're always just trying to, 
get yourself better um whether that's I mean obviously if you're older you're maybe not going to improve sight like maybe not quite as much but um you can always get to a level where you can get out in the golf course and as long as you can get out and enjoy it then that's the main thing really yeah and where would you start then so where would you recommend somebody obviously you're based in kind of Dunblane where would you go do you think would the driving range be a good place to start or do you think you'd be better taking some lessons first of all and then practicing your own or just getting straight in a golf course I mean I think everyone is different I think one thing that I found um in the pandemic when I, I did group lessons which were great for a lot of reasons because I think um not always, but women sometimes prefer having a female that's teaching them. Um, there, there's not as many of us. I think there's maybe only 20 to 25 female professionals that teach in Scotland. Um, but setting up group classes, I know that everyone is really busy with that because I think for we're different to men that we maybe want to learn in groups or not feel quite as intimidated. So if you can start a, a group class, like if you're going to yoga or all these kind of fitness classes if you're doing it with other people that are at the same level it makes it much less scary if you like to to get started you know that everyone's brand new to it and um everyone will pick it up at different levels and progress at different levels but I think for that starting point um to do it with other people is nice and if you if you've got a friend that you can do it with great if not it's a good way to to meet other people as well and just get out in the course and um I think that part is probably the most intimidating for a lot of ladies is for like actually getting out in the course. They can go yeah, to the driving yeah. range and, and have a go and try and hit it. But the thought of getting onto the golf course can be quite hard. Um, and that's actually one thing that I did a lot of as soon as the golf course is opened was did playing lessons. So we would go out for an hour or two hours and just play so you get used to it. Because that's if you're taking up a hobby you want to go and play golf you don't want to just be standing practicing for hours and yeah and you want to get out and play I mean obviously I practice a lot but when you just want to I, I think if I was going to take up another sport or hobby you want to just go and play it you don't want to spend all your time doing drills and practicing um, yeah. so I think the sooner you can get onto the course the better because that's essentially what you want to do you want to go out and, and play Absolutely. golf and I think as well you know a lot of, of particularly women you know, at this stage in their life as well, they maybe don't want to necessarily go to a sweaty gym, and particularly when we're through all the COVID stuff and things as well. But I think, you know, it's not if there's, you know, we're kind of conditioned with this, go to the gym, go to classes, go to, you know, it's all very, um, you know, fitness orientated to keep yeah. fit. And I don't think you necessarily need to be doing that to keep both your body and your mind healthy, really. I yeah. think some of the golf is a all rounder yeah I mean I think her habits in general over the last couple of years have changed and just I mean I try and go out for although I'm walking when I'm golfing I do try and just go out for a walk like yeah. once a week and you see so many people out just getting fresh air um and even I mean one of my friends um that I was at school with we're meeting up on Sunday and before it'd be like okay we'll go for lunch or we'll go for dinner or something she's like oh do you want to go and play golf and it's just because we're getting used to being out more and it's like we're still we're going to be out there for three three and a half hours we might have a drink or something after but it's just nice to be out and it'll just be a kind of chill oh you're so right I think that is that is such a thing now meeting a friend even just for a walk now yeah I think that is that's some one thing that Covid has, has been a positive bit of Covid I think we all definitely do that a bit more and we'll cut we'll carry our bags so we can burn a few extra calories as well which is exactly awesome. exactly <laughs> So I know obviously you travelled a lot last year, Heather. Um, this year, will you be you personally be doing lessons again? Can you give us some information on that? Or I can certainly put it on under this or maybe even give us anybody that's watching this that's interested some advice on where to go locally? Yeah, so I I mean I teach at a few different places and it, it's it suits me fine because I can fit it in and around my schedule. So hopefully this year I'm going to be playing um quite a lot. Um, starting in a few weeks time the summer is always quite busy um, but in the winter time when more people are wanting to kind of work on their game and get lessons and yeah I'm available a bit more um, but yeah I mean it's, it's not as glamorous as you think as you said earlier when I'm out traveling I, mean, I, I love it and it's nice but it is kind of golf course hotel sleep yeah. and repeat um, 
but it's yeah. good and it's um I, I think for me when I'm teaching as well as I said there's so few female pros that teach but the fact that I also go and play as well I think it's nice and um I really enjoy getting out in the course with the ladies that I'm teaching because you you, you get I get more out of it they get more out of it from actually seeing people playing um and just say there's a lot you could stand for hours weeks on end on the practice ground trying to perfect your swing and all the different parts of the game but you just want to get out and enjoy it and I think if you can see someone doing that and learn that way it, it helps so yeah my um I think all my social media have the the website and phone number and things on there for teaching so there's a few places in the, the central belt I say I do a lot at mucker they're um they're really good for new lady members and they've Where got, did you I, say there Heather sorry at Muckert Muckert right um and it, they've actually just started a, a nine hole membership which is great because they had so many ladies get into golf over the last couple of years um and they don't want to play 18 holes it is very much uh getting out for an activity exercise for for nine holes an hour and a half maybe um, yeah, yeah, I think that seems more, much more appealing, the kind of nine holes, I must be honest. Yeah, I like it. I like nine holes in lunch. I wish we did that in tour. But. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, go change it. Go change the world. <laughs> change the rules. Well, listen, Heather, thank you so much. I'm sure people watching this will find it really, really interesting. And as I say, I'll put all your details below. And um, obviously on social media, people can maybe get in touch with you themselves if there's any kind of more questions. Perfect. Thanks for having me. Thank you so much. I look forward to seeing you at Thanks. See you soon. Bye-bye.